What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I am a Nigerian women's wear designer based in London. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool pattern on the front of a dress. This would involve me creating the front of a dress, slashing and spread it along a setting angle to create really cool texture and detail on the front. So the idea is just to do this on the front and if you feel so daring, so adventurous, you can go ahead and create the same effect on the back of the dress or even along the side seam. I'm going to be using the very popular sash and spread method which you guys love so much i've done this in two previous videos and you people really really liked it so i thought it'd be cool to be experimental with the technique and try it out on different garments if you guys would like to see how i made this dress design make sure to keep on watching subscribe if you haven't already turn on the notification bell as well and without further ado let's jump straight into this video I'll be using the following tools to create this dress design. First of all, I'm going to be needing my pattern master and my set square, which will become very useful when it's time for me to draw curves or straight lines. I'll also be needing my front and back bodies, which I've done in a previous tutorial and I'll be linking down below. I also need a marker pen, paper scissors, tape measure, and some cello tape. I'll also be using a lot of pattern paper and for anyone that is curious, I'm going to be linking it in the description box. I also got myself my long ruler just in case I need it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to duplicate my patterns because we don't want to ruin our main blocks. I've gone ahead and I've duplicated my front and my back and extend it up onto 90 centimeters added one cm allowance all the way around and the hem width is about 46 so for the 46 for the front along the hem and half of that for the back so the back i've just traced out because we will need to test what the front fits like in correlation to the back i just ignored the dots for now but if you're going to be doing this for yourself or for a client you would need to transfer your dots as well so planning the front, I did the front in such a way that it comes out as one whole piece because it's an asymmetric front design. You would need the entire front to create this shape. So I've just taped it down so it doesn't move when I create my curve. And I'm going to go ahead and mark six centimeters down my front arm curve on this side. You can decide to do it on the left or on the right hand side. And I'm going to mark six centimeters above my hip line like so and mark 15 centimeters along the waistline towards the center front so the idea is i want to draw in a circular shape that looks like this it does not have to be a perfect circle but it has to be straight along the edge so when it's stitched back into the front main panel it's it's nice and easy and it joins safely there so using a pencil i'm just drawing in this circular shape making corrections when necessary there is no pressure really it does not have to be perfect but just do it until you're satisfied and you're happy with the shape of this secular figure. So I'm going back in here with my marker pen so you guys can see what my decided shape looks like and I'm just using my pattern master to make my lines more refined and clearer for you to see. There was a lot of going back and drawing things again because the shape wasn't really a perfect circle, it was more of like an oval shape. If if I do say so myself and I'm just going in here to connect points together using my marker pen and my pattern master as you can see I'm going back to redraw some of the points to smoothing them all the way around so after that I'm marking four centimeter points so meaning the distance between the side seam and the first point is four centimeters and so on and so forth because along these points we're going to be drawing diagonal lines into the other part of the front of the dress so i'm going to grab my long ruler and i'm going to be drawing a diagonal line that goes from the first four cm points into the neckline so in terms of the spacing between the first and the second line and so on it, there's no like really strict measurement to use just try and space them as evenly out as possible i just use my eye to mark this out but if you want to be really accurate you can go ahead and be make sure that the sort of the end points of these diagonal lines are even but from looking i could get an idea that they were evenly spaced 
along the edge of the front so once that has been drawn and you're happy with it i'm just going in to make sure that those four cm points are really clear because those are going to become the points in which you pleat the dress back into this circular shape on the side so i'm cutting out the side panel like so because we are going to be slashing open the diagonal lines that we drew and you want to cut them as close as possible to the edge so they are easier to spread on a fresh pattern paper so i've gone to the floor because we just needed a lot of space to do this dress design and i'm starting out with the bottom panel like so and i'm just taping it down in place so it doesn't move and i'm taping it along the side and along the bottom before going ahead to spread the next panel next to it so once i've taped down the sides and the tops and the bottom i'm spreading the panels by seven centimeters because i just thought that was a good amount it wasn't too much or too little so when it's pleated back into the original pleat point there is enough sort of bulk added along that point of the dress so i'm just repeating that seven cm spread for the third panel as you can see here and up until you get to the very last one so if you are spreading the particular panel and you find that is not laying out flat what you want to do is you want to cut the the panel as close to the edge as possible so it opens up easier on this fresh pattern paper below so I'm just taping down all of the edges because we're going to be adding lines that connect the panels together so the lines are curved and not straight because the panel along this edge have curved ends and not straight ends. So I'm just using this end of my pattern master and I'm connecting my panels using my marker pen so we can be able to add a one centimeter seam allowance along the side so you have room to join this entire spread piece of pattern to the other smaller side panel that we have. So I'm just going to grab my paper scissors and cut out my spread front panel it was quite big when i was done i ended up spreading it up until about one and a half meters of fresh pattern paper and i'm adding my green line like so and this is what the main front should look like you only need to cut one for the side panel that is this sort of circular shape here i'm just going in and i added fresh pattern paper underneath so I can add a one centimeter seam allowance along this curved end because you need to join this curved end to the spread pattern that we just finished doing so once that is done I'm going ahead and cutting it out ensuring I extended my pleat points into the new one centimeter seam allowance edge because this would need to be notched in order for you to know where to pleat the pattern back into so these are the three main patterns we we need for this dress design the back which you should add a dot to for better fit the front you don't need the dot because the whole idea is to have that sort of drapey effect in the front when you pleat the spread seven centimeter points back into the side panel here you need to cut one each for the front panels and you need to cut two for the back to make the complete dress design moving on to testing the pattern I've gone ahead and I've cut out the fronts and the back as well in calico and I ensured I notched those pleat points with tiny scissors because you would need this to be able to pleat back in that seven centimeters into the smaller side panel here so the way the pleating works is you grab your notched points and you join them together so meaning you are pleating back in the seven centimeters that you spread the panels by and by doing this pleating effect you are returning the dress back to its original form along the side and you are creating this sort of nice cascading pleats on that side of the dress and it just looks really nice it's a really beautiful detail that you can put on the front and on the back of the dress if you want to so now that all the pleats are done and in place once you arrange the dress it would actually look like a full front when you put the side back into place so i'm just going in and i'm pinning my side panel ensuring i match my 4 cm pleat points to where my pleats are so this is why your notches are really important because it's to tell you what pleat belongs to what point and you don't have to go back to like be measuring things or really confuse yourself in any way so once that is done and i'm done 
pinning all of my pleat points to the side of the dress this is what it should look like and you would need a lot of pins to ensure that all of these stay in place so this is what the main front of the dress looks like it's a really really beautiful and flattering design that you can work with in a wide variety of fabrics ensuring that it's not too thick so the draping effect on the front falls nicely when you have it on so once this up once these are all pleated and in place it's time to go ahead and sew the pleated sort of edges into the semi-circular shape on the side and i'm just sewing using a normal straight stitch on a one centimeter seam allowance because this is a sample just to test to see how our pattern works and if we need to make any corrections so once that is done this is what the front of the dress should look like this is the wrong side of the dress and i think i made a mistake along one of the pleats but you can't really see it because of how the front is sort of gathered back into that side panel so i've gone ahead and i've pinned my side seams together so i've pinned the side seams of the front to the back and i'm just sewing the shoulder and the side seams together on a one centimeter seam allowance using a normal straight stitch so we have one full dress to put on the mannequin or to try on ourselves to see if we are happy with the fit for the darts i just pinned it in place to check how the dress fits and this is what it should look like i gave it a quick press to relax the pleats along the curved side seam and it turned out really beautiful it actually looks better when i put it on because my size and the mannequin size are a bit different my body is a bit fuller so my my curves fill out the dress really nicely and i enjoyed making this design i hope you guys try it out for yourself and i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment all of your thoughts suggestions and questions down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye